Welcome to Gumpway Live Cops, where I show how I cop items using this computer, bots, and other resources. If you're interested in learning how to bot, or just interested in watching Live Cops, then let's get into it. What is going on everybody? We are back. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a full Klebot setup guide. Uh, I know this can seem super complicating for a lot of beginners, and this is going to be actually a two-part video. This is going to be the first video ever that I post in GBFNF, my cook group, and to YouTube. Um, a lot of the videos I post in GBFNF are exclusive. I do see some people complaining on the YouTube about me not giving specific details on specific things, but those details are meant for members in GBFNF. Unfortunately, I can't just publicly share all the information of my setups and everything I do and how I recommend running my bots to the masses on YouTube. I would love to, but that is exclusive for GBFNF members. But this is going to be the first video that I do post to both because this is just basic task setup. And I know that setting up a Klee bot can be extremely confusing. So we're gonna make this as simple as possible. It's very easy once you get the simple understanding of how to actually do it. Now, uh, this is Vite. Vite is actually one of our partners and they are sponsoring this video as well. Vite is an absolute monster on foot sites. Um, this bot has honestly outperformed every other bot that I've ran in the last month. I know it sounds crazy, but uh, I've seen more success with Vite than a ton of bots across the board on foot sites this last month. So we're going to be setting up here. Now, I'm going to do a brief rundown real quick of what you should see if you set up your bot properly. But obviously, when you first open your Klee bot, you are not going to see something like this. But as you see here, it says loaded config. We'll get into that in a minute. It says loaded 33 profiles. So I do actually have 33 profiles loaded into the bot. And it says loaded 540 tasks. I do actually have 540 tasks loaded. And I also have 3,199 proxies loaded. So this is all accurate information. You definitely want to make sure that this is accurate because we are going to get into some folders in a minute here over here. And this is where stuff can get complicating. But if you set everything up right, you will have no problem. And you see here that a lot of my proxies did pass the performance test. And I also do have AYCD auto solve connected here. So it does say valid. Now, one of the most important things on setting up a Klebot, and most of these do have it, is a config file. Now, I'm not going to click my config file because it has my AYCD key in there. It also has my key to Vite. Um, and it also has some other stuff like my two capture key. But this is where you're going to configure a lot of that stuff as well as the Discord. Now, some bots do have, uh, I know Trickle has this, they have uh, just a button you'll press here, like press one, and then you can actually import your um, Discord webhook in, in the actual bot, but most of them do have it in a config file. So you will need to cl uh, click that or uh, load everything into there. Now, the next most important thing is having a editor. So you can, I use Ron's editor. You can also use Excel um, and some other formats. Now, I don't recommend using a notepad, even though you can. It's just a little more complicated to see how to actually edit everything. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Um, but using an editor is the best. And yes, you can import from AYCD your profiles into Klebots. A lot of Klebots are supported. I know Vite's supported. I know Trickle's supported. Um, a lot of them are actually supported. So the next, and most, uh, the next most important thing is the task, obviously. Now, I'm not going to hop into proxies and I'm not going to hop into profiles, but I will give you the rundown. Obviously, I'm not hopping in those for, you know, pretty uh, clear reasons. Uh, but for profiles, you're most of the time you're just going to import them. Um, or you can manually type them in, but you'll see the format in a second when I open Ron's editor. Uh, but we are going to jump into the task. Now, if I were to just click on the task folder, this is what you're going to see. So you can see how it can kind of be confusing because I don't want to have to specifically go through each of these and edit these like this. Uh, that would be very frustrating. Um, but if you do choose to do this, it's very simple. Just edit the fields you want to edit and then hit file and then save and it'll save it to this folder. Now, all of this is actually in the Vite 0.0.28 release folder. Um, I'm not going to go back to that folder because obviously I have some private things in the downloads folder as well. But you will find this in downloads after you download the bot and you can just click on that folder and it will bring you in here. And then you are going to go to the data folder. Uh, data folder is where everything is going to be held. Now, some of the time in other Klee bots, you won't actually have to go into a data folder. What you will see is you will go into the actual downloads folder. You will click the bot and then everything will be right there in front of you. But for the purpose of Vite, you do need to click the data folder. And this is really where you're going to edit everything. So we're going to open up Ron's editor uh, and we are going to actually open up the task folder. 
And let me scroll up a little bit. All right, so you can see that this is a lot easier to edit. So there's a few things I can do. I can come here, I can mass edit these. Um, if I have another Klebot set up with similar formatting, I can actually control C, copy all of this, and then click the top and control V, and it will paste everything in here. As long as I have the same amount of uh, lines in the other Klebot, it'll copy here. If I have more lines in the other Klebot than I have here, it will just create more lines below. Um, obviously, you can also come over here and copy everything as well uh, just by dragging like this and you can right click and hit duplicate selected roles rows delete there's a lot of ways to edit in here uh, some of you may be familiar with excel or ron's editor and you know how to do this but that's just a brief summary so as you can imagine a clebot is actually easier to set up than a user interface bot because you can just mass edit tasks very quickly so i do actually prefer a clebot um, but that's just my personal preference now, when it comes to profiles, it's very important that you copy the exact format that you have in your actual profile folder. Uh, remember, I showed that a second here. If we go back over here. So in your profiles, you would you'd want to edit open this in Ron's editor. Now, once you open this in Ron's editor, you can actually just copy every single profile and you can come back over here and open up the tasks folder and then paste them in. And then you can just go here and select how many tasks you want per profile so you see here i have 15 tasks per profile which is equivalent to about 600 tasks total i would say um, and then you obviously would input the SKU here you would leave random you would leave quantity one and then you would put the site right here uh, the mode for this is release most of your Klee bots are just going to have a basic release mode um, and then you would come over here and you would save the folder it's pretty simple now once you do that you can feel free to open up the bot once you have the config folder set, your profile set, your proxy set, and your task set, and you can get ready to run it for a release. Now with proxies, it's very simple. You just simply open the proxy folder and paste your proxies in there. You don't need to do anything crazy. You don't need to open Ron's editor for that. Um, but profiles and tasks, you're 100% going to want to do that with. I highly, highly suggest uh, if you don't have AYCD, Get AYCD if you're running a Klee bot. Uh, there is a, a discount code in the description below. It's GUMPO, all caps, just G-U-M-P-O. You can use that code if you want or anyone else's code um, and get AYCD. That way you can just simply import profiles. I do want to shout out all my sponsors. I have them on the screen here. They're awesome. Uh, I do run these proxies on all my bots. These are the proxies I run for every release that you've seen in my past live cops. And I definitely want to shout out Vite for being a partner um, of GBFNF uh, in this channel. Um, go check them out on Twitter. I have their link on the screen as well. They will be restocking in the near future publicly. So try to pick up a copy. It won't be easy, but if you can get your hands on it, I highly suggest it. I really hope this video helped everyone. Uh, if you have questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer some questions on how to set this up. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Later.